guys welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is nazi niece for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video and i post new videos every wednesday all about my faith god christ and expanding the kingdom of god and i do that through bible studies book reviews discussions and more so as the title says this is going to be another unboxing for the delilah box and if you guys have never heard of the delilah box or what it's about you can definitely click the eye to go to my playlist to watch all of my other unboxings and i will also have all the information as well as pricing down below in the description box but i am so 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 excited um for this bag i have been following on instagram and looking at what's going to be included in the bag so like i'm super excited to have mine um so quick information so the delilah box basically is geared towards women christian women who are interested in um just learning more from the lesser known women of the bible so most of the times you're going to get two maybe three books um normally it's definitely a biblical fiction and then a contemporary romance of course and or possibly a non-fiction but a biblical fiction is always pretty much included um at least from what i've seen i've gotten a lot of biblical fiction from her um and they are phenomenal biblical fiction novels phenomenal books in general they're from uh, mainstream lines like thomas nelson uh zondervan uh and i think rebel as well um which is great and then outside of just those books you get things like little pins that you can put on your clothes you get soaps uh you know body products and things like that it's just it's a phenomenal box i highly recommend it again check out my previous unboxings to see everything but i'm super super excited so i know what's in this box like i said because i follow on instagram instagram is what i'm always looking at because i need to where's my drink okay so i'm a little thirsty i do have a little smoothie from mcdonald's so so i got my bag this morning i actually just um opened it but i didn't pull it out so this is going to be a first impressions first impressions this is going to be a uh, a raw authentic unboxing that's what i was trying to say um but here is the bag for this month so cute i love that so much it's really fun and bright and um if you guys don't know the delilah box does come in baggies like this but she also has created new boxes so she alternates between the months of when you're going to get a box and when you're going to get a bag so september there was a bag october there was a box so now for november there is a bag and then december will most likely be a box but um i do know the books i already stalked out on instagram so we're going to dive in um so the first thing here yes my favorite are some teas and i think these are honey sticks if I'm not mistaken, they're honey sticks. So you get three, four honey sticks. Um, like that. And three teas from one of my favorite um, tea companies. So you get the Bigelow Cranberry Harvest, which is tart cranberry with warm spice finish. It's a herbal tea. I've never tried it, so I'll give it a go. Um, then you have the Salted Caramel Black Tea, which is a yummy caramel tea. I am not a big fan of caramel tea for some reason. Um, I like caramel, the candy. I like caramel flavored things, caramel smelled, uh, candles. But for some reason in tea, it throws me off. So, we have that. And then lastly, we have my favorite tea that everybody know I love. The Girl Pumpkin Spice Tea. It's a black tea. I love this tea. This is literally like my favorite fall, winter, holiday tea to drink. It's amazing. Um, so we have that. What else is in here? Um, then inside there is a gift card. I'm not going to show my actual code, but there is a gift card for the site. So that is awesome. I'm definitely going to utilize it. It is a $5 gift card. So I'm going to use that, of course. Then following that, what is this? Okay, I don't, I'm, I'm going to go to that after. So you have your standard notepad. I'm trying to pull it out. And um, this time it is this kind of color. I don't even know what kind of color to call this. But it says Grace and Delilah. At the bottom it says Proverbs 18.24. Am I saying that right? Yes. So that's the scripture on the notepad. I love these notepads. I keep a bunch of them just everywhere in my room. Um, trying to see if there's a... Yes. Okay. So there is. So there is a pen for this month. And it says the Delilah box. This one is blue. And her pins are always like dual use, so it's always a stylus on the pin. So I like that. Um, I also have some Boger Instant Coffee Crystals. So we have instant coffee. I don't mind instant coffee. So yes, we have tea and coffee with some honey sticks. We love to see it. Um, what else? What else? Okay. So then we have this, which I know what it is. I love what this is. So 
it is a cute little pin and it says book mobile so um i kid you not it took me a good two seconds to figure it out book mobile <laughs> but i was always saying book mobile yeah i'm a little yeah but i love it she's so cute so now i have three of these from her so cute and i love the color of it it's it's stunning let me take it out of this plastic I think this is like really stinking cute, yo. Book mobile. Or book mobile. <laughs> um, and it does have like the two clips on it, so that is fun. I can't wait to wear that. Um, then there are the books. I don't want to pull it out right now. Okay, so you have two cards in here first. So you have the November 2020 Delilah box is finding balance and faith. Um, which you always get this here. And then it also tells you everything that's in the package, which I already know what it is. Um, so we have the fur the fall inspired over tea, we have the flavor honey sticks, we have the coffee packets, we have the little pen, the notepad and the pen, um, the cute bag, of course. Then she always has this sort of postcard about her candle program. So she has a candle program where you can pay uh cannot remember the price. The price will be on like flashing right here. Um, but you can pay and get a candle. It's a candle program she has. And monthly, she'll send you a candle. Her candles are 16 ounces. They're soy candles. And there are different scents such as uh, roasted pine cone, pralines, and pecan, salty caramel, and autumn hayrides. Um, and she also has ones that are named after specific um, states. That's what I was trying to say. So, yeah. Um, so, we have that, which is awesome. Um, to the side, I have this which says Denise on it so I don't I don't know what it is oh the, okay so I think this is just a personal letter from her um from Taylor which oh okay so Taylor if you're watching this thank you so much this is so sweet I'm definitely keeping this card um so here's a card that she sent me i love this oh my gosh i was not you guys know i'm never expecting these um taylor actually just sends them to me out of the goodness of her heart and i love the boxes so much that i love to share it with you all and i know many of you have gone and purchased the boxes and have been raving about it with me um so this was so taylor thank you <laughs> Okay, so I got a little goodie, and I love it. I love pins. I love brooches and things like that. Um, you guys know I've been on this, like, brooch kick. I got a new order of brooches coming in next week. I have a problem. But I love pins. Um, I'm a pin lover, but the problem is I know that once I go down that rabbit hole of buying pins, I'm not going to stop. Um, it's like, it's something with the BookTube community where they send out the book boxes that there's always a pin or a button but this one is so cute i've been eyeing this mind you i have my cart full of pins from the shop grace and delilah website don't ask if you guys want to see all the pins link is down below directly to all of the little pins but this one says book lover and we know i'm a book lover okay she is gorgeous i i'm excited so now i have a total of four pins from her i think four four or five no i have five because one of the boxes came with two. So I have five, which I love. Um, but this card, I'm definitely keeping. It's absolutely sweet. And thank you. Just just thank you, Taylor. Like, I'm going to have to send you a private message because I was not expecting that. Okay. So, to the books. Okay, one last look at the baggie, um, which is so cute. And I, I love these bags. I always use them, like, when I'm going out. Um, I have book sleeves, but I also like using these as book sleeves. So, like, if I'm going out and I need to throw, throw a book in my bag, I will put the book... Oh, sorry, the camera's shaking. I will put the book in here and then throw it in my bag or just put books in here, go sit outside or something like that. So, I love these specifically for keeping my books covered and safe. But, um, the first one is... Okay, it's an Amish novel. We know how... I've, I've expressed my feelings about Amish novels. Um, I do have two on my shelf. This makes three. So I now have three Amish novels that I own. Um, I have not read them. I will read them. I'm probably going to do like an Amish based reading blog and I'm going to read the Amish books and see how I feel about them because I know that when it comes to the Christian fiction genre, Amish novels are like the main thing. 
um, but I'm not big on them because of personal experiences previously with reading Amish novels and I've seen other you know booktubers and things like that talk about Christian fiction and how they don't like it because of the Amish genre or subgenre of Christian fiction so I'm gonna give it a go I'm, 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 I'm really going to step out of my comfort zone and I'm going to do a reading block I'm stating it now so that it's out there in the atmosphere it's out there when I'm not gonna say when because I don't know but I'm throwing it in the atmosphere I am going to do an Amish reading vlog Amish an Amish based reading vlog where I'm going to read all three of these Amish books y'all gonna have to pray for me but um this one is called Her Brother's Keeper and it's by Beth Wiseman and it's an Amish secrets novel um so the cover is actually really pretty I like the blue for some reason that blue really pops to me um but yeah so on the back it says Charlotte came to Amish country to find answers what she never expected to find was peace Charlotte Delinsky is not above playing dress up and telling a few lies to find out what happened to her only brother. In fact, that is exactly what she comes to Lancaster County to do. Now calling herself Mary and slipping on a, I think it's a cap, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, it's on the screen. Um, Charlotte will lie her way into the confidence of anyone who knows why Ethan had to die unless she gets found out first. But when Charlotte befriends a quiet Amish man named Isaac Miller, she begins to rethink her motives. And with a little help from a friend back home, Charlotte might find out that love comes packaged in ways she couldn't have foreseen. Isaac's been caring for his cancer-stricken father and sympathizing with his frustrated mother for three difficult years. And that means he hasn't been dating. He believes Hannah King is the woman for him, but Hannah is still weeping the loss of her fiance. And Isaac has all he can handle on the farm. When Hannah's family plays host to a woman named Mary, their new cousin shakes things up for all of them. As Charlotte digs deeper into the mystery of Ethan's death, she finds more than she bargained for in the community he once called home. But will she ever learn the truth? And what will her community and her new family do if they learn the truth about her? her so this is published by Zondervan it retails for $7.99 USD it does come with a discussion question section in the back so it sounds really interesting kind of like um you know faking your identity to find out what's going on so almost like a mystery plot to this so I am intrigued a little bit uh so we'll see how it goes it basically seems to me like the main character charlotte is really not a part of the amish community and she goes there to figure out what's going on with her brother so i might like this one more so than the other ones because i know the other two books that i have the main female characters are actually like born and raised into the amish culture this one it seems like she's not a part of that culture she comes into it to figure out what happened to her brother so um we'll see but I, like i said this blue for some reason is popping to me that blue like speaks but we have that and then the second book we have is count with the stars now i read this book i own it i love it it's amazing um so i'm not gonna keep it <laughs> so i will include this in a giveaway i have lots of giveaways coming y'all don't kill me okay i know i still have that surprise giveaway coming it's gonna come in one of these videos if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you would have to go back to like previous videos to understand what I'm talking about. But um, my surprise giveaway is coming really soon, okay? Really, really soon. Don't kill me. Uh, but yeah, Counting with the Stars. I love this. This is the first book in the Out from Egypt trilogy, excuse me. And um, this trilogy is essential if you want to read the Cities of Refuge, right? If you want to read the Cities of Refuge series. You don't have to read this trilogy first, but I highly suggest you do because book three in this trilogy really leads up to the Cities of Refuge. Um, we have this, so I'm going to read it back for you guys. Um, it says, sold into slavery by her father and forsaken by the man she was supposed to marry, young Egyptian Kaya must serve a mistress who takes pleasure in her humiliation. When terrifying plagues strike Egypt, Kaya is in the middle of it all. Choosing to flee with the Hebrews, Kaya finds herself reliant on a strange god and drawn to a man who despises her people. With everything she's ever known swept away and now facing the trials of the desert, will she turn back toward Egypt or surrender her life and her future to Yahweh? So basically, in layman terms, <laughs> um, this book basically follows an Egyptian girl who something happens with her father. She's sold into slavery. Um, the man that she was supposed to marry just straight up like deuces on her. <laughs> um, and she has to rely on you know Yahweh she relies on God and this takes place during the time of the plagues in Egypt as well as during the time of the exodus and she comes across another character I'm not gonna say her name but we love that character she comes across another character who is actually of the Hebrew people and um it's just her journey her story to Yahweh to God and it's a reminder that God 
even though Jesus wasn't around at the time of the Old Testament, God always had a plan to bring those who were not of the Hebrews, of the he the Hebrews, yeah, the Hebrews and the Israelites into his family, um, which is phenomenal to me. So this, I in did enjoy. It was amazing. I love Kia and I I'm not gonna say his name, but I think that's his name. Yeah. Okay. So I love Kia and the romance with the guy. I'm not gonna say his name, but I, I I love it. It was cute. Um, this is one of my favorite books from the trilogy. I think book three was my favorite, and then book one came in um second place, and then book two came in third place. But yeah, this is great. I highly recommend it. So I'm excited. I love this box so much. I am definitely going. Mind you, I just got to, I got back from Walmart and I bought me some more pumpkin spice creamer. And I have like one box. I think one or two boxes left of my pumpkin spice tea because I cannot find it anywhere in walmart like walmart just does not my walmart that i go to now just doesn't sell it so i'm happy to have this um the salted caramel we'll give it a go i do have some vanilla uh, vanilla caramel caramel vanilla creamer so maybe it'll be good with that and then the cranberry harvest is a herbal tea so i can definitely probably have it later on tonight who knows um but it sounds like it's good it has hibiscus rosehip cinnamon apple pieces cranberry and raspberry um licorice root and citric acid in the cranberry harvest one so you guys can see the ingredients there and then for the salted caramel one there is black tea um rose hips and chicory root it says natural flavors but obviously there's going to be that caramel flavoring as well in it but there is that and then for the pumpkin spice you have black tea pumpkin flavors cinnamon licorice root clove ginger and pumpkin flakes so you get two black teas and then you have the uh, herbal tea. You get some coffee, which is great. It's not decaf. It doesn't say decaf, which I don't care. I don't really care for decaf anywhere. So um, you have two of the Fogers, which I have never tried Fogers coffee. I don't think I have. So this would be a new time for me trying Fogers. Um, I prefer my Cuban coffee. Can't remember the name of it right now. Bustelo. I, lo I love Bustelo coffee. That's um, my preferred coffee to drink. There is the Nestle. I think it's Nestle brand. If it's not, I'll put the name on the screen, but I think it's the Nestle uh, brand um, instant coffee that they have that I actually do like as well. But um, yeah, I, I love my box. I'm so excited for my box. I highly recommend you guys check out the Delilah box. It is amazing. Check out the website in general, Shop Grace and Delilah. The website is phenomenal. You can purchase books outside of your box. You can get a box. Um, the box you can do by month to month. You can do it uh, every three months or do a six month. I think there's a yearly. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. All the information, like I said, is down below. I believe pricing is about $29.97. And um, there is a shipping fee of $5. So you're paying $34 a month if you do the subscription. If you straight out just want one box, um, like without uh, being a subscriber to the program, then you can pay $34 flat out. And you might have to pay the additional fee of the shipping. But um, hopefully that just makes sense. Every All the information is down below. Click the links. Um, but I'm excited. I really love these pens. Like, I am squealing right now because I love a good pen. And what I've been doing on Sundays um, when I do dress up to go to church, I have been wearing, like, my, you know, my usual outfits for church. But I've always been putting on a brooch or now a pen. I've worn one of the pins. Actually, let me grab my boxes so you guys can see what I'm talking about. They're not far, but I didn't want to stretch, you know, and have to get it. So this, for those who don't know what the Delilah boxes look like, this is what they look like. So it says Grace and Delilah on it. This is not the box I'm looking for though, right? No. No. This is not the box I'm looking for. Let's grab the other box, which actually has stuff on top of it. So this is the other box, which has all my other stuff. And I have my other pens in here. So I am excited. And I, I just, I can't wait to wear it. It's amazing. I'm happy. I'm excited. I, I feel giddy and girly and just excited. So I'm going to just put my pens back in here. And I think that's it for this video. So again, Taylor, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. By now, you probably would have received my email that I sent you um, by the time this video is uploaded and edited and stuff like that. But um, yeah, do I recommend this box? Yes, I do. Um, a lot of you have gotten 
the box of why you have subscribed to get the box continue to do so it is a phenomenal way to one build your personal library and also find out about new books i am one of those people who i read books all day every day i don't know too many um authors that are like new to me if that makes sense because i'm so invested in the booktube community so i know about those mainstream and i find that with the delilah box i'm learning about authors that i never would have found out about found out about before like in the september and october box i got two books from liz liz johnson i think her name is i think her name was liz johnson i've gotten two books from her and i didn't even know anything about the author and the book sounds amazing i got books one and two so we have that i've gotten books from my beloved favorite authors but because i already own them it's like um i have double on top of double but that's fine we're not gonna talk about it we're not gonna talk about it okay we're just not gonna talk about it but um i'm excited i'm a little giddy um so i'm gonna put all this stuff to the side after i take my photo and i'm definitely gonna put some use to this gift card definitely gonna put some use to this gift card because there are some things that i want i've been looking at some books and stuff so um yeah definitely going to this is really cute too i like this let me let me fix this real quick i don't know why i'm one of those people that like have to fix something when i see it okay okay i think i got it i think i got it yeah so <laughs> there we go that is so cute i love the card too it's really sweet it's like simple simplistic but i love it and i love the little box that looks to be hand drawn but i'm rambling on so i'm gonna end this video here again taylor thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much and if i have not convinced you guys to get a box to subscribe to be a, a subscriber to the subscription box click the eye click just just click the eye click the eye Go look at the unboxings. Look at the amazing books. And I mean, if you really think about it, $34 for all that you get, that's a steal. Just saying. Because books are not cheap. They're expensive. Um, And I don't mean that they're expensive. Like, $17 is not expensive. But when you think about it, for a book, sometimes I, sometimes I be worried about the pricing on books. Because books be like $34, $5, uh, $55, $85. Like, why? Why? But that's just me and the person that I am. So I'm going to end this video because I'm rambling. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.